Okay, hello everyone. Uh, it's great to meet you all and it's a pleasure to be here. My name is Mehek Khwaja and I'm from Lahore, Pakistan. And the project I present to you today is called The Spirit of the City, which showcases an amphitheater fit for human-centered design. So I made this building for the teaming hub of Old Lahore, uh, locally known as the Andrun Sheher or the Wall City of Lahore. And basically I made this building uh, which caters to a number of functions, but more specifically highlights the idea of different elements coming together. So uh, my project was carried out in three phases, the first one being digital documentation. And so I had taken photographs to study the essence of Old Lahore and its inhabitants, and also to uh, capture the city's existing relationship in the form of still images. So now I would like to uh, play a video. Uh, I've made video content as part of my process. So. Uh, this showcases the spirit of the city. So we start at the Delhi Gate, an entrance into the walled city of Lahore, which brings us into the infinity of individuals. This labyrinth city leads us to discovering the unknown, and glimpses from the narrow streets showcase the spirit of the city, from soaring birds, to the busy people and across architectural elements. Movement is ever present and the mingling merchants also working a hustle among the crowd. Yet the Suneri Mosque lies here humbly, acting as an instance of peace among the lively Kashmiri Bazaar. Art and fashion music and the cinema are physically present in a distinct manner and so establishing a unique character to this theatrical city. But not to forget, the last surge of calm rests in Boli Garden. It's almost secretly nestled between the tall buildings and walled streets. So now I would like to return to my presentation. And uh, forming concept development collages was a part of my phase two. And so from the hundreds of images that I had taken from the photography session, I had print them out to create handmade collages where each one was going to depict a story. So my first collage expresses that to understand the richness of the city, we can best portray it through means of a storyboard or through a theatrical performance. So here it's presenting the commotion and hustle of the characters who are from all walks of life and they roam the vast alleyways of Old Lahore uh, very effortlessly. The local people do it like they know the back of their own hand. Yet as an outsider looking in, you might feel like you've ventured into this maze of a concrete jungle where you're walking in circles and your explorative loop is just in perpetual motion. So you can really start at one end, travel through an entire underworld of a different city where you wind through the nar narrow alleys of these towering apartments to suddenly wander into this broad street that's lined with skyscraper shops. And so conveniently you come back to where you began. So peeking back into reality, you realize that when you're journeying for so many hours on end, things do start to seem familiar. Now, my second collage has been jam-packed with images of people roaming the bazaars, which are knitted into these mountaining residential blocks. And in further detail, there were people walking across the busy street, shopping for clothes or jewelry or food. There's merchants talking to the customers. There's a lot of activity going on in this collage. So it's um, almost contradictory to say, but it's difficult to focus on a single image at first glance. Yet once you focus on one person, the rest of the images and people start to become apparent. And that's because they're linked to one another. And even um, in real life, the individuals were extremely invested in themselves and seemed to show little interest what was going on around them. But in actuality, they're very much unconsciously aware of their surrounding environment. Now, my third collage has actually been revised twice before its final composition. And basically the refinement was done in order to purvey my uh, provisional concept, which was basically to show how multiple streets in Old Lahore will eventually converge into one or lead you to a common avenue. And so this collage itself portrays um, 
how the city belongs to an almost framed identity, which not is which is not fit to that cookie cutter way, but actually bleeds beyond its edges. And moreover, it's the use of different pathways and their materials and images, which have come together in such a way that they hash out those harshness of those tangible boundaries. So my fourth collage portrays how a theatrical performance gives life to a story and how every detail is very carefully designed and orchestrated by the storyteller because they are trying to show their perception to the audience through means of physical visualization. So here, my main character, he's prominently depicted in color. Um, he's an old man who's a street merchant and his story is that he's very invested in his uh, peanuts and toasted corn and he's getting it ready to uh, sell to his customers of his day. Um, and so his daily routine leads him to leave his hole in the wall home to scour these vast streets of the city. And he's mainly find tourists who will help him um, feed his pockets. And we can see here that he's very much unbothered by the commotion of the city behind him where the rickshaws are going by, there's people walking by, but he's very much um, invested in his own work. And this uh, commotion is a very flavorful aspect to the outside world, but it's a very bland and monotonous thing to him. So now a uh, concept that can be milked out of my next collage is behind every door lies a different city. And these meandering streets of old Lahore are not the only things that will lead you towards the unpredictability of where you're going, but so will these ornamented and cascaded architectural uh, passageways. For instance, one might lead you to a caked residential area that's tiered with these pigeon towers. A second might take you to an old man's milk, uh, man's milk shop. And a th another one might take you to a series of entryways, which are just going to lead you to unknown destinations. Now, my last collage highlights the themes and concepts that I had formed in all of the previous collages. So here I have a stage which is set up for a play and the characters can really discover behind every door lies a different city. And moreover, the collage shows that there are open passageways which lead the eye to either a visible location or there are some um, entryways which do not even open so you can't see what's behind them. Um, so again, behind every threshold lies a different aspect of the city of Old Lahore. And so my intention was to capture and depict those aspects by making this collage interactive. So here, uh, some of the doors were actually made into flaps, so they would open up and behind them would be another kind of feature. So for instance, on your far left, there's a door on the bottom left, there's a door which would open up and you would see a staircase behind it. Um, but right above this door is this shuttered wooden window, which you cannot see a peep beyond its grooves. So there are many other features which are present. Um, and the most important one also are these balconies, which are present at the top of uh, above the uh, passages. And basically the balconies are present. So uh, to appreciate the idea that Old Lahore is not entitled to portray a single aspect that metaphorically it's not bounded by any such means and more so it's opened up to the sky above to a countless number of characteristics. So the last stage that followed was model making. And this was basically to create a form through the understanding of the concepts that I had developed from the collages. So the first attempt was this paper model and it was made out to be a cube with different faces. And the design attempt was to use natural light as the character which dances upon the stage setups. And from this, we can really see how every individual has a different perspective when they're looking at a particular face. Um, next, I moved on to making a digital model, um, keeping in mind that every face tells a different story. Now, as each face has a number of varying elements, I devised that this was going to be a stage for those elements to perform as characters in a grand theater. And again, we can see how those elements have come together like they did in the collages. And so this model specifically represents that chaotic bizarre life, the deterioration of the uh, city and the pathways that lead to different ends. So this model was created in such a way that if I turned it upside down, um, it was still catered to the same characteristics and aspects that I was trying to achieve as a whole. And so as a design experiment, this proved to be successful because those elements still carry their own unique identity, even in this alternative approach. Um, so the next digital model is a revised and enhanced version of the previous one, um, where the staircases and balconies are featured now in a red color. Basically 
specifically to act as the main focal point um, of this structure. And this was also envisioned in an upside down version. And coming back to the red color, I really wanted to zero in on the fact that this is our main character of the story um, and how it travels around the cube and it leaves its mark along its journey. So one step closer to uh, the final model, this is a more colorful attempt uh, where I want to convey and highlight those other important architectural elements. And again, these elements are the characters where they each have their own identity. And now they have come together as a cast to showcase a beautiful performance. So here's a section uh, developed with human inhabitation to basically see the relationship between user and form, and moreover to get a look at how the structure performs and facilitates um, the activities that it's been designed for. And these are some other sections we can see the elements of the interior facade and the setting more clearly. So finally, I'd like to discuss the concluding model design. And formally, my objective was to create the semi-covered theater, which would include a stage for all performances and social gatherings, where the social gatherings are not pertain to just artistic content, but also technical, um, scientific, and religious gatherings too. And most importantly, to cater to the audience that will be present in these uh, social gatherings to observe those performances, um, where they're going to be assisted by informal seating, which is going to be very fluid and connected. So uh, a park has been designated as a structure's location, which I had previously shown in the video, and it is secretly nestled between the alleys of this busy bazaar. And it's a very humbling uh, setting and inviting setting for all walks of life. So this is a plan uh, which houses the auditorium spaces. The formal one here uh, allows for talks and performances to take place and then formal auditorium spaces for those larger social gatherings and religious congregations. Um, so here's a 3D visual of those auditorium spaces. And this is another plan which includes more area for social interactions and also to be utilized as a rooftop garden. So the functionality of the building includes a cafe for the users and it gives opportunity to which both public and private spaces have been developed. And I was able to bring these multifunctional spaces together by introducing protruding and recessed balconies. Um, and with all of these elements together, they create this um, meandering structural loop throughout the building. So here are a few other sections of the model which house these um, hanging spaces, floating like spaces, and also we can see the level shifts in the form. So I've also included a sectional light study and this is what a, morning, a summer morning would look like. And here's what a winter morning would look like. And so um, the color palette that I use is towards natural earthy tones. And this was implemented basically so the whole ambience remains uh, very subtle and calm to really ensure that every user of any background or age feels very relaxed, free and welcomed. So conceptually, the cube was meant to house a set of ideas, and this was executed by having every face of the cube representing an idea. So moreover, it's the different elements coming together to create that larger entity. So the facade on the left side here, we can see it's more closed off than the right. Um, so it's depicting uh, privacy, deterioration, growth, and nature. And the right uh, facade, on the other hand, is more transparent and allows more eyes to peek through um, its walled area, which has been also chiseled with these streaking apertures which uh, I've taken inspiration from the collages. So another inspiration and the most important character is the street vendor for my fourth clutch who is depicted in color. And he's basically been translated into this meandering pathway which protrudes and wraps itself around the building and also intertwines within the building's volume. And he is literally the epitome of old Lahore where he travels along the winding roads in rain or shine. So now I'll just take you briefly through some perspective images which display the exterior and interior. This current display is of the single main entrance of the garden. And it's basically that hidden passageway that um, is found between two shops in the bazaar. And upon entering the site, users are welcomed by a grove which further directs them towards the structure. And this is uh, the first staircase entrance. And this is the second one. And here's a view of the garden from the amphitheater's porch. And again, this is the formal auditorium space that's seen with the passage of time from morning, afternoon, and evening. And this is the interior of the cafe, which is um, at the second topmost floor and further gives access to the rooftop garden. And one last feature that I really wanted to highlight was this 
uh, element, um, which shows that a single element can really hold its own identity, even among a cluster of entities. So conclusively, the building was meant for every user to experience that they're able to profess their passion without any hesitation and that visitors get to enjoy their activity in a peaceful um, environment. So these emotive facades invite an individual to discover and embrace the spirit of the city, which lies in the heart of the project. Thank you for listening to my presentation. Thank you so much for your presentation. Judges, would anyone like to take the lead to start? 